outside of Melbourne. We're having fun in the sun down here. Plenty of tyres, spoke lots of fumes to suck up. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you're watching us around Australia. We've seen some great racing. We have, and it's the first round of Pro Stock Eliminator. The factory hot rods on screen at the moment. Tony Wedlock, the number two in Australia, against Kim Pedalwood in the Chevy Camaro. Two Queenslanders turning out now. Wedlock and Pedalwood. Racing, get away to an even start. Look at this side by side. They know how to race these guys, I'll tell you. Oh, no. Quarter ask it, not given. And Wedlock gets it. What a beauty, a ripper. Oh, stuff. Okay, let's hope we can keep it going. Peter Ridgeway now, the Victorian, comes out against Wayne Daly from New South Wales. This is a Pontiac and a Ford Thunderbird. This is going to be a great matchup. Peter Ridgeway ran the first ever seventh second time in pro stock. Wayne Daly has also run into the sevens. Who do you like, the Pontiac or the Thunderbird? My money's on Peter Ridgeway in the Pontiac. Okay. Victoria taking on New South Wales. Here's Ridgway, and away they go. Wow, good start. Both cars out nice and clean. Have a look at this. Coming back from a long way back. I don't know if he's going to do it. Oh, only by half a car length. Did he miss out, though? Boy, Peter Ridgway was lucky there. A slow reaction time. He lost a tenth and a half at the start line. Here he is at the finish. He's got oh, just about it, too, wasn't it? So now we've got Robert Quattrocia comes out against Bruce Leake, Leakey from Queenbeyan in New South Wales. One's a Chevy Beretta and the other one's an Oldsmobile. Now Bruce Leake is the reigning Australian champion in pro stock. This Oldsmobile, a beautiful car and runs fantastically well. Quattrocia in the uh, Chevy Beretta. Unusual cars here in Australia, not uh, names that we're familiar with, but certainly familiar with in drag racing circles. Quattrocci from South Australia in the uh, yellow Terra lane, Bruce Leake in the Valvoline lane. All set now, Quattrocci taking on Leake. Big crowd wait in anticipation. The pro stockers have been great. Both get a big leap out off the lights now. Look at this. Coming up side by side. Great match up here. Oh, only in the last 50 metres does he do it. That's a huge upset, Daryl. Quattrocci has gone through to the next round of racing. The big crown looking on. And here comes Quattrocci. He looked good all the way down the track. Get your own word, would you? <laughs> it was, though. The it Australian was... champions out the first round. <laughs> was okay, next matchup. Hans Van Dyke. Here he is, the old stager himself. Three times Australian Nationals champion. Now, he's going to have a hard job ahead of me here because here's Bruno Cognetto in the Oldsmobile. Bruno ran Australia's quickest time ever in qualifying, 7.90. Hans is on the bump. He only went 8.10. What about Bruno's car? Isn't that beautifully turned out? That's one of the stunners. A Holden Oldsmobile Cutlets. That's how they're going to uh, come out to you. Cognito is in the Oldsmobile. And, of course, Van Dyke in the Holden. Beautiful paint job. Can he do the job and get on the track? Here they go. The Holden comes back. Ah, oh, never mind. Coming back. The Holden just catch me if you can. And he can't. One person you don't let have a go, and that's Hans Van Dyke. He's through to the next round. Pro Stocks now, the first of the semi-finals. Robert Quattrocci in the left-hand lane, going to take on Hans Van Dyke, the only Australian body car in the field, the Holden Commodore. Quattrocci and Van Dyke in the Holden, and of course the Holden really gave it some mumbo here a little earlier in the, uh, the competition up against the Chevy Beretta. The Valvoline Beretta of Quattrocci and Pacifico ran 8.000 in the, in the qualifying. Nearly broke into the sevens. Will they do it now? Quattrocci closest to the camera now in the Beretta, the Holden of Van Dyke. Wow, it was quick earlier here. And this should be a pretty good matchup. The Holden against the Chevy Beretta. This crowd has gone quite away. They go. Terrific start. The Holden gets the money early. The Beretta comes back. Look at the Holden now. He's just holding on. Oh, but what about the Beretta coming home? I'm not sure who got that. I think Van Dyke. The computer says it was Van Dyke. But if we go to the numbers, it was actually a dead 
heat. The computer has decided it by the millionth of a second, would you believe? Well, have a look at this because it's very difficult at this speed to get a line on the start, for, well, a finish line anyway, but they virtually came across locked together. Only the computer could split them. Hans Van Dyke left one one thousandth of a second slower than Quattrocci. He got there a thousand quick. Brilliant race. Don't get much better than that. That's about as close. Peter Ridgway comes. Uh, no, it's, yes, it is Peter Ridgway. Comes out in the Pontiac from Tony Wedlock, uh, the Toowoomba driver in the Pontiac Trans Am. So two Pontiacs front the line this time round. Ridgway driving the Grand Prix, a smaller version car. This car, the Texas race engine car, the first into the seven second range. Tony Wedlock, the number two rated driver in Australia the last three years. What about the paint job on this car? Absolutely stunning. Wedlock from Toowoomba has supported every round of pro stock in Australia for the last five years. Great commitment. A red and black car looks stunning, doesn't it? But then Ridgeway's car looks pretty good too. Let's see how they go. Away they go. Ridgeway and Wedlock. Ridgeway at the moment. Ridgeway at the moment. Wedlock tries to come back, but Ridgeway just drives him away, and Ridgeway takes it. A sensational run, an 8.001 second time, 272 kilometres per hour. Ridgeway through to the final. He won't, uh, he won't deny that. Pro stocks, they have been great. Ridgeway from Victoria takes on Van Dyke from Victoria. Ridgeway in the blue and white car, Van Dyke in the white Holden. It has been super hot tonight. Big sensational pro stock. These are the Group A touring cars of drag racing. Ridgeway running the Pontiac. Van Dyke is the crowd favourite here. The crowd are going berserk for the Holden. Ah, oh, yeah, the Aussie Holden hasn't done a job tonight. For Hans Van Dyke from Victoria, and, of course, Peter Ridgway in that blue and white Pontiac, it's been sensational too. This should be, I reckon, one of the best matchups we've seen this year so far. Well, here they come now, the Holden and the Pontiac. Van Dyke taking on Ridgway. Set, listen to the revs, they'll start to build. Postdoc final, what a class that's been here at Caller. In the stage now, here we go. Both get away pretty well. Ridgeway has the run at the moment. Van Dyke comes back, I think it's gonna be Ridgeway. Oh, the Holland comes out at him, but the Pontiac gets it, and I reckon he only got it by a bumper bar. That was sensational, close racing all of the way down, but Peter Ridgeway has claimed his first win, a 7.99. Go to the replay, even leave, Looking at the numbers though, Van Dyke got nearly a tenth of a second and the power of the Pontiac was needed to take him through. The Holden started to power about here. He tried to come back at him, but he just couldn't make up the time and the pro stock.